it raining a minute? You know, I've had a terrible time in the last couple of weeks trying to get roofs on houses um, with the roofs off and it being constantly raining so the roofer can't finish their uh, finish their job. Um, uh, sorry about the re, uh, the reflection the, and, and the lighting. So I just wanted to do a quick video just whilst I was sitting in the car park waiting around uh, rent to rent. Although, you know, I think it's a great strategy. I see a lot of people making huge mistakes when they build uh, rent to rent businesses. Uh, and what ultimately it means is that what they're doing is building a fragile business. It's got no solid foundations and the chances of it falling over and collapsing are very, very high. So what are some of the issues that we see? So apart from things like uh, using the wrong contracts, which is very common, don't understand which type of contracts people should be using when it comes to rent to rent. Uh, another mistake I see people uh, making, actually that uh, that probably helps uh, there. That's probably a bit better. Um, so another mistake that I see um, uh, people making is they see rent to rent as a long term cash flow strategy. The reality is rent to rent should be seen as a stepping stone strategy. So what I mean by that, it's a way of just building some income just to get you moving forward so that you can move on to doing other uh, other things rather uh, than seeing it as a long-term thing. Because if you start uh, relying on that income and building that business in that way, somebody's very close to me when they're just parking just here just now. Um, if you're relying on, uh, on that as your long-term income, so what I mean by that is let's say you take on a handful of rent to rent, you've got say five rent to rent generating your thousand pound a month each that's great cash flow five thousand pounds but what happens longer term you've only got them for a few years so you need to take on more uh, so when they fall off they continue now that can be okay if you want to do a few of them but i think the mistake is people become reliant on that uh, sort of income when what they should be doing is thinking about how can they now build a more solid property investing strategy which is based on ownership of assets rather than just controlling assets in this way uh, for income then the other thing also happens sometimes is people go a little bit extreme and take on so many properties uh, that they're spending all their time now managing properties. So let's say you've got five or six of those that you could probably manage them yourself. Let's say you end up with 20 or 30, you've got fantastic income, but it's very unlikely you'll be able to manage them efficiently yourself. Now you start needing staff, you start needing overheads. And before you know it, you've got a, a, a big uh, chain on your ankle. You are now stuck to this business that you've just created. You can't actually go um, and do other things because you now uh, have to service these properties. You have to keep them full. You got need the staff there to make sure they're all working quite well. And ultimately it means you become stuck in a, a cash flow trap where you can't actually give up what you are starting to create um, to do something else because the time uh, it takes as well. And very few people I know have done it successfully where they've built a large rent to rent business and managed it quite well. Uh, many people I see uh, get stuck in that trap. So I believe it's important that you create a handful that give you a really good income that start giving you choice and freedom of time so that you can start focusing on asset building strategies that mean you start owning the assets in the long term. So I just want to share that with you tomorrow evening, Monday evening, I'm going to be running a webinar for the first one after a very, very long time, where I'll be focusing on the three strategies I think are really important to get, particularly if you're getting started in property that you should be using uh, right now. So the webinar, uh, if you haven't already got the link, it's sajasane.com forward slash startup webinar. It's going to be tomorrow, Monday evening at uh, seven o'clock. And I'll be sharing, as I said, three strategies on there. So thank you all those that are watching. Um, Andy, Eunice, Ansar, Jack, Cam. Uh, thank you for your time on a Sunday afternoon. As I said, I'm sitting in Asda Car Park. Mrs. H is in the shops. So I thought I'd use the opportunity to do a quick video. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon.